But there's more bad news. So there is a uh, an organization called the School Diversity Advisory Group that was tasked with figuring out what the best way was to make our schools more diverse. Because it is a problem that no one is arguing or trying to say that doesn't exist. That group recently came out with a recommendation to do away with all gifted and talented programs. To do away with all screened middle schools and all screened high schools that are not the specialized high schools which they have decided they can't touch without state intervention. This is already happening in this district. On 60th Street and 3rd Avenue, there is a new school, a new arts middle school that was supposed to be competing for the students that go to Mark Twain. This District 20 sends a lot of our arts kids, our dancers, our actors, our singers to Mark Twain. That school is not allowed to audition and not allowed to screen their students. So that's where we are. This is where I need your help. This is a political issue. Everybody here needs to know who all their elected officials are. I can't, as your PTO, endorse any one person. But I can urge you to view all of the candidates through whatever lens is most important to you. If you want to expand g and in every school, in every grade, in every community, we have legislation out there that does that. The people who I work with outside of this are very concerned about diversity and we feel that by finding children who will do well in tests as early as kindergarten, yes, taking a test, at four years old. That's how they'll find the kids that can do well in a middle school like this. And that's how they'll find the children who will do well and be able to compete in the specialized high schools. And we have working with politicians who want to expand the number of specialized high schools from 8 to 18. There are other there are other solutions out there that don't include getting rid of things, getting rid of programs that a majority of parents from our district, I believe, want to keep in place. So, I'm talking about this, um, I don't know if any of you know, last year, this was my spiel of when I ran as a CDC candidate, and I was elected with 34 votes, which is like the second or third most votes in the city. So I'm fighting this fight. I was elected by the PTO members of this school saying this is what I was going to do. So until such time as you vote me out, I'm going to continue on this path because I believe this is what you want me to do. If anybody wants to talk to me, about ideas that we could do to go forward, solutions. My email is all over the place. I'm online, on my Facebook. Reach out and we discuss it and we'll figure out ways that we can make it better together. But most importantly, you need to vote. You need to register to vote. You need to get your families to register to vote. And you need to get the person, right, your elected representatives, your senators, your assembly members, your council members, and most importantly, you've got to find the person who wants to be the next mayor of this city, the person who's going to appoint the next chancellor of this city, and you have to vet them, and you have to make sure that they know that this is a concern of yours, and get your families to do the same. I'm fighting this on multiple fronts with multiple different people, but without you, 
nothing will make a difference. I'm here with you, but I can't do it alone. Thank you.